Greetings! Welcome to Saint of the Week, the show where we choose one saint's feast day from this week and discuss their life and their impact on the church. The saint for this week is Saint Thomas Becket, whose feast day is December 29th, this Friday. Thomas was born in London, England on December 21st, in either the year 1119 or 1120. The identity of his parents is unknown, but it is known that he had a good upbringing. He was educated in various schools in England and studied at the University of Paris for one year. When he returned, he had to get a job, and he began secretarial work, first, for, first with Sir Richard de la Gale, and then with the Justiciar of London, Thomas Kinsman Osbert Heidener. When he was 24 years old, Thomas began working for Theobald of Beck, the Archbishop of Canterbury. While there, he decided he wanted a career in the church, and having won the favor of the Archbishop, he was sent to Auxerre, France, to study canon law at the University of Bologna. When he returned, Theobald ordained him a deacon in 1154, and he gradually rose up to make into many different ecclesiastical offices. King Stephen of England died and was succeeded by the young Henry II. Theobald recommended Thomas to the king to be his chancellor, and Henry accepted the recommendation. Thomas was an effective chancellor, but he was also good friends with King Henry, and the two spent much time together. After Theobald's death in 1161, Henry wished to appoint Thomas Archbishop of Canterbury. Thomas refused at first, warning the king that if he did become Archbishop, he would not accept all of Henry's interferences in church affairs. Henry persisted, but Thomas continued to resist until the legate of the Holy See, Cardinal Henry of Pisa, overrode his refusal. He was finally appointed Archbishop in June of 1162. His new position marked a serious change in Thomas' life. No longer did he indulge in any luxuries like he had previously. He imposed penances on himself and spent time in prayer, study, and discussion of scripture, supervising the monks, and performing charitable acts. He resigned from the chancellorship against Henry's wishes, and a rift began to grow between the former friends. The rift increased as Henry tried to usurp church rights, and Thomas opposed him every step of the way. He came close to compromise with the king once, temporarily approving a law that would deny clergy the right of trial by a church court and prevent them from making appeal to Rome. In the end, however, Thomas rejected the law and fled to France, where he remained in exile for seven years. Thomas returned to England eventually, and he and Henry seemed to patch things up, for a while at least. But trouble arose again when Thomas refused to remit censures placed on bishops favored by the king. Although the exact events are unclear, it is known that, in a rage, Henry expressed a desire for Thomas to be gone. Four of his knights took this as a command, and set this out to kill the bishop. They arrived at Canterbury on December 29th, 1170, and confronted Thomas, telling him that he needed to go to Winchester and give a report of his actions. Thomas refused, insisting he had done nothing wrong. The knights left, retrieved their weapons, caught Thomas on the way to Vespers, and slew him where he stood. He is buried beneath the cathedral, and he is a patron saint of Exeter College, Oxford, Portsmouth, Arboreth Abbey, and the secular clergy. St. Thomas Becket is known as a hero of the faith for his defense of the church's rights. He was proud and stubborn, but still had a spirit of charity, and he was deeply devoted to the work that was assigned to him. He is similar to Thomas More in that both held political positions and were close to the king, but in the end they chose to serve God and his church first, even in the face of death. St. Thomas Thomas Becket, pray pray for us. us. Our honorable mentions for this week are St. Emiliana, Blessed Michael Nakashima, St. Stephen, St. John the Apostle, the Holy Innocents, and St. Egwin. And of course, there are thousands of other saints who undoubtedly have their feast days this week. But there are so many of them that there is no way we could list them all here. We hope you have enjoyed this episode of Saint of the Week. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Peace Peace be to you. you.